In this video, I'm sharing with you the seven essential ingredients for a killer workout. Let's get into the video. What's going on my friend? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian DaCosta of BrianDaCosta.com. We are in the middle of the freaking street on my road in Los Angeles. There's a car coming. I don't care. I've got this ring light out in the middle of the road and people are probably people are probably gonna pass like what the hell is this guy doing? But it's all good. The fact of the matter is I'm here to get you shredded for life. And if you are new to the channel, you've got to subscribe and you've got to drop your first comment and your first like. Let me know if you enjoy the video, you would agree, you disagree, and if you are a seasoned subscriber, thanks for sticking around. So, let's get right into it. Ingredient number one is have a plan. And this should go without saying, you're probably like, well, duh, but you'd be amazed how many people show up at the gym and they don't have a training program. They're kind of just like, you want to hit arms today? Okay, let's hit arms. Or if they have a training partner, or it's like, oh, well, that equipment looks fun, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna jump around and I'm just gonna be here for a bit, then I'm gonna leave. That's a recipe for disaster and that's a recipe to have six months go by and you look exactly the same and you're sitting there wondering why. Well, it's because you don't have a plan that's based on progressive overload, that is is strategically getting you stronger over time, growing your muscle, helping you reduce your body fat percentage, all of these things. And if you need a training program, you can download my Lean Gain program. It is a free beginner to intermediate program that helped me personally, this thing's wobbling, Help me personally gain 40 pounds of muscle. It's an awesome workout program. It's, you can split it up four or five, six days. Go ahead, grab it. But regardless, guys, have a plan when you get to the gym. Know exactly what you're doing. And when, I, when specifically, what I'm saying is know the exercises you're doing, know the amount of sets you need to knock out per exercise, know the amount of reps you need to knock out per exercise, and know your rest times. Number two is work out the same time each day. Now, this may not be possible for some of us as our schedules are often very jumpy, kind of shift around a lot, very jumpy. Is that even a term? Regardless, for consistency, we are creatures of habit. Studies show that we have 75,000 thoughts in a day and 91% of those thoughts are the same as the day prior. We are beings of, we are creatures of habit. And if we can make some of our decisions unconscious, create that habit and then it becomes an unconscious habit, you know every single day you're going to the gym at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m., whatever it may be, it's not a decision you've gotta make. It's just like, this time is designated for the gym. Personally, I've trained early in the morning, I've trained late at night, I've trained in the afternoon, everything, but what remains consistent for me is for at least a, per a period of a month or two months, I'm training at the same time. As of late, I've been training in the evenings and that's been a great habit for me. It's been working with my actual work in my business and my social life, all of these things. So what is that gonna be for you? Pin it down, put it on your calendar, and stay committed to it. All right, we're on a bit of level ground. I had to shift you. Number three is have a time limit in the gym. Guys, you'd be amazed how many people go into the gym and they'll be there for two to three hours and they've only ended up knocking out like three exercises. People love to chat at the gym. You see your gym friends, you catch up with them. How are things going? Oh, you're doing that? Oh, you're doing this? Guess what? 10 minutes is gone in between your last set and you've just been sitting there on the bench. And not only that, the dude that's waiting for the bench is pissed off at you guys. When I go to the gym, I have headphones in, which is very helpful for staying on time. I know I'm gonna be in the gym for around 75 minutes max and I don't really communicate with many people. I'll say what's up. I'm not like the worst person in the world, like, hey, don't talk to me. I'm never that way. But also, if you ask people to go to my gym, they'll say, yeah, Brian shows up at the gym. He does the work. He says, hey, he says what's up. Quick, you know, two minute thing. And then he's back to the plan. Because guys, when you go to the gym, you're there to execute an exercise. You're not there for social hour, right? You're there to get a great workout, to get a sweat, to have that amazing feeling of walking out of the gym like I just conquered a sick workout. And we can't do that if we're in there for all the time in the world and we're not staying focused. Okay, so you know, put in some headphones, say hi to the people that you need to, but get your freaking exercise done with your plan and during the same time during the day. Number four, work out with a gym partner. Now, I've trained in the gym now for about 10 years, uh, a bit over 10 years at this point. And throughout my time, I've had two gym partners. One that I'll highlight right now, his name is Dell, and he actually was in a lot of my YouTube videos when I first started this channel, when I lived in Washington, D.C., and working as an accountant. And guys, not all gym partners are created equal. I'll say that much. You want your gym partner to be someone that motivates you, that will hold you accountable, that will hold you true to your commitments and will really push as hard as you push in the gym. Because 
While having a gym partner is beneficial, it can also be detrimental to you. If someone who's complaining about the exercise, complaining about this, complaining about that, have it be someone that's positive, that's uplifting, and you guys can vibe off of each other, and Dell was certainly that person for me. Dell was one of the only people that would train as hard as I would train. He was focused in the gym, he didn't freaking mess around, he was stronger than I was, which I absolutely loved because he pushed me to lift heavier than I ever had before, and it was just a great situation. So guys, if you think you would benefit from a gym partner, I challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and invite someone to train with you at the gym, perhaps someone that's positive in your life, and ask them to stay committed with you, to set a fitness goal for themselves, and to stay committed over the long haul with you because it will really benefit your workouts. Let's get into number five. The next three that we're gonna cover are really gym preparation topics. Number five is prepare your gym bag. Now this is gonna be a full video that I'm releasing soon, so I'm not gonna go too in depth here, but have your gym bag prepared. I have my clothes that I'm gonna wear at the gym in my gym bag. I have my supplements in the gym bag. I have my wrist straps, I have my lifting belt, I have my shaker, I have all of those things because it's super important to be prepared. I have that gym bag prepared as soon as I start the day. So when I'm ready to go to the gym at night, I literally grab my gym bag, I don't have to think about it, scramble around and pack it, and then I just head to the gym and we're good to go there. Number six is on the nutrition side. And these last two are really on the nutrition side. Set yourself up to win with some proper pre-workout nutrition. Don't overthink this too much. Beyond the scope of this video, we're not gonna go too in depth here, but have a solid pre-workout meal. It could be a well-balanced meal, a protein source, a carbohydrate source, ideally a simple carb source, like a banana, like some white rice, like some white potato, and uh, some healthy fat sources, not too much fat. Uh, and, and that can be anywhere from 30 minutes before your training session, upwards of two hours before. So that will give you the energy required to really hit an intense training session, give you that fuel, give you that energy, boost that mood, it'll help you get a pump in the gym, and it will just improve overall gym performance. And then to go along with that, the final one ingredient to have a killer gym workout is supplementation. Now, obviously we know in the fitness space, supplementation is just so hype, super hyped, hype, 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 buy my supplement, use my discount code, we understand it. And while it is very hyped up, and we understand that because a lot of fitness companies make their revenue and their money from selling supplements, they actually are very valuable. So I'm not just like shitting on supplements here completely. I take personally a pre-workout supplement. I take bodybuilding.com pre-workout. I also take bodybuilding.com amino energy and bodybuilding.com essential amino acids, BCAAs. I take my pre-workout obviously before the workout. I take my amino energy during the workout along with BCAAs and then during the day to ha prepare myself for a great workout, I'll take branched chain amino acids, which are beneficial, especially in a fat loss phase because BCAAs help you preserve muscle, keep muscle on your frame when you're losing fat because our body can potentially have a tendency to burn fat for fuel when we get to lower body fat percentages. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you agree. If you think anything else is helpful that should have been highlighted in this video that helps you have a killer workout, please go ahead and comment it below and perhaps I'll include it in a subsequent video. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.